So this is the elements of OBS. Now, I'm not going to walk you through all the elements. I'm just going to walk you through some essential things that you will need. Uh, so you'll need some essentials for videos, for audios, and for screen captures in the various forms. So that's what we're going to work on. We're going to start with a new from scratch. A new from scratchies. Okay. So we're going to call this one. We're going to call this one. John. Azon. John is on. This is John is on. It's a personal story. I can't really relate. Can't say too much more than that. It's John is on. So that is how now we have a new scene collection. And as you can see, you can jump around and I'm going to hit with a brick here, which I don't know if I've done anything with that or if it has anything in it even. Dang. There's hit with a brick. Yeah. And uh, then we'll go back to, we'll just go back to Jonathan. So, okay. <clears throat> First step we need is we need to hear ourselves. So that is audio input capture. Now I should see you're down here. You see scenes, sources, and you add your little whatever things things are called sources here sources here all audio input capture is what you want now i usually sometimes you i i sometimes might write something like host audio or you could just leave it at is but you can you can name it different things so there's host audio oh by the way i do recommend <clears throat> As you create OBS, that you create like this basic template that has some of your basic settings. So here, device default. Now, going to click down, and we're going to go to whatever your microphone is. For me, my microphone is here. Microphone 380R headphone. So, and then you can see now in host audio, and then you can adjust the volumes here. Now, there's other settings to do with editing audio, so I'm not even going to get into that. And honestly, when you're starting out, you really don't need all that stuff anyway. And I hardly ever do much as far as audio editing within OBS, which may be to my detriment. But So there. Now I have my audio set up. Now I'm going to... I want to see myself, if I want to see myself. And let's say in this case, I do. I do want to see myself. So I'm going to go to Video Capture Device. And I'm going to put... Uh, I'm going to put host video, host video. There we go. Host video. I'm going to keep the logic tech brosis. Now, I'm not really trying to get this seen and stuff. And honestly, I really am not all that interested in being seen all that much. So, so uh, now I got my audios and I can... As you can see, I can click on it and I can, you know, go up here and I can shrinky dinky. Now, I do want to give you a word of advice. Like when you're not using an element down here or a source, whatever, uh, click on there and that on the, uh, the lock thing and highlight it. And now what that means is now if I click on it, you notice it doesn't get the red highlight. So I can't inadvertently move it around. It took me a long time before I figured this out. Something I should have known right away, but somehow, you know, you miss details. So so bear that in mind. So there's the host video. And now while we're at host video, because we want to do our green screen, and, and I don't have the audio. I'm not worried about trying to get lighting set up perfectly or anything. So just going to green screen this. Now, well, let me walk you through how what I did here. So I right-clicked on host video, and I went to properties. And then I went to Effect Video, and I'm going to go to uh, Chroma Key, and it should automatically just get out there green out, and there it is. And then you can adjust it, uh, your green screening, and, and it's going to affect other parts of you, so you got to kind of watch it, because in this case it went bigly. But you have some tiny, smaller adjustments that you can make. If you want, in, in this case, I wouldn't have done any of it, so I'm gonna get back to defaults here. And you know what? I'm gonna just—I don't know where. I'm just gonna remove it. There you go, remove, and I'm gonna add it again there. 
So, so for the most part, uh, if you do chroma key, don't do color key, uh, do chroma key. Uh, it, it works better. It usually it'll do it almost automatically, and you just close it. And then you can have stuff in the backgrounds. So, like now, if I really was going to be like super fancy, I would probably, you know, I I would adjust my lighting. My, I only have one light on, so that's why you see a lot of this bleed overs here. But I'm not. This isn't a video to teach you how to get that granulated. You know, if you have good lighting, for the most part, you won't see that anyway. But uh, anyway. So, um, you got the chroma key there. You got that set in. And uh, now you, you want a background, right? So now this is where you're going to add image. Got to call that image a background. You need your background. Whatever you want it to be. In my case, I'll, uh, I will uh, go to... Go to my stuff was uh stuff was out there is Carters. Do stuffs, man. What is this? Ooh, this is a massive empire being planned here, man. Let's see, where we go? Oh uh, yeah, I'll go PG News or yeah, what the heck? I'll promote myself through this video. Oh, I'll pick this. I ended up changing the colors for PG News or it's not gonna be green, but anyway. I like this what it looked like anyway. So I'll use this. Oh, now here, here. You see how this picture is in here and it's huge? Yeah. Um, go to scale filtering. Or, or, which one is it here? Transform. Is that the one? Uh, center to screen. Fit to screen. There you go. Fit the screen. Ready? Fit the screen there. So you go transform, fit the screen, and boom. I, I didn't know that and I would like try to. Oh, it's just stupid. But okay. Now you see the background right now. It's at the top. And so you can't see anything. So you want to make it lower. You go and you go poopity poopities. There you go. Background. So now I'm like, see the background there? Now I'm like, you know what? I want to adjust things, but I want to make sure I don't move that background by accident. So lock that baby up. And now I'm going to unlock host video. And I'm going to just slide host video over here. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I'm not trying to be fancy here. Just doing this quick thing. Go Eagles. Yeah. All right. So now we got that. We got our little background here. We can put a little text up. So we'll put text up. Uh, text here. I'm just going to call this show title. Put my show title here. And you can change the fonts and all that. And I'm not going to try to do all that. I'm just going to leave it in here. I don't give a, I don't give a donkey. In this case, since I got a dark background, I'm gonna I'm gonna make this white when I'm done here. So I'm just gonna type um, the Jonathan Power Hour. I think that's fitting. So we're gonna do that. That's good. Jonathan Power Hour. And we got the whiteness here's. Um. And we hit OKs. And we got our diet guy here. So he's kind of small. Uh, come on, John. John's on Power Hour. So John's on Power Hour. I like it. But you know, I want some scrolly, magical, mystical stuff there. So let me get the image here and see if I can get the. I'm going to put this uh, back. Ground overlay. I love doing stuff like this. This isn't something you necessarily have to do, but I think you're going to like really have fun doing stuff like this, whoever you are. I'm actually making this video for one person, but I'm going to share it with the with the world. Where is he? Where is my thingies? There it is. Oh, I love this thingies. I'm only picking this because I had it on hand and I used it in another show. Like, uh, Okay, so. Got it in there. I got the filters, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with uh, first. We're gonna go with uh, color correction. Now I like to I don't fool around with all. I like to, I like to mess with stuff. And, you know, just yeah, radies, and then opacity. Yeah, I love the opacities. That's what I really want. Is uh, there we go, and we're gonna close. 
And then we're going to right click on that again. Filters. And we're going to go scroll. Scroll. Okay, I'm scrolling. And you're going to go horizontal speed. Maybe I'll make this like, I'm just going to randomize that. Okay, right. Whatever. All right. Now we're going to do a, another transform. And we're going to do a fit the screen. <laughs> yeah, baby. I'm going to put that behind me and behind Jonathan. So there you go. Oh, well, well. Yeah, yeah. So now it's behind me and Jonathan Power. The Jonathan Power, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Jonathan. Now we want to get like a little uh, uh, sourcing here. Or a, wanna, we want to, you know, we're having a new show. We got some some clips to show. We want to do that. So I want to get some clippies. Get some clippies here, and uh, I think we'll put this. We'll put this video here. Alrighty. Let me. Oh my God. Mm -mm. Okay. Now, next step here. We need another audio. What we need to do is we need to be able to hear from sources when we play them. Like if we're going to play them on our show. So we got to go to audio output device. Now, this audio output device is also important if you have other people on your show and they're calling in, like if you're using Skype or discord or stuff it's going to be like that so i'm going to just keep this called i generally keep this called audio output device so the default no i am using i believe i uh, i believe and sometimes i get these confused but i believe it should work on this one so we'll see if we get that now let's just play real quick and see if we hear uh, we see the audio show up. Mm, delicious. All right. Now, I can hear the audio, but it is not right. So let's see here. Speakers. Not sure that should be that. Probably should be that. All right. All right. Let's try this again. May have been a setting on my computer. There we go. Except now I can't hear her. All righty then. So, um, I'm going to, yeah, that's great. So, I got the audio that I can hear there, but not here. So, that's cool. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to stop this video at this point.